Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I'm here to talk about Luis Pauelo making his UFC debut against Fernando Padilla. Luis Pauelo won on the Contender Series last year, TKOing Robbie Ring in one round. That's one of his best wins. He's only got a few really good wins. The one before that was a good win as well. It took that guy out in round two. But uh, in general, he's uh, still got to prove himself more than Fernando Padilla already has in both victory and defeat. Uh, but I like what I've seen from Luis Pauelo. I really do. I think he's uh, got a lot of great traits as a fighter. May not be the most versatile guy, but uh, he's a guy that's able to handle things when they don't go his way. Uh, but still, I'm picking Fernando Padilla to win this fight. I think Fernando Padilla is overall more dangerous, and although maybe not as powerful, but he's overall more dangerous, certainly when you factor in the ground game. And I think on the feet, uh, in a points battle, I would favor him, certainly. He's got three inches of height, six and a half inches of reach to complement his striking, which is not bad, despite how he looked in his uh, most recent fight. Uh, but I'm taking Fernando Padilla to win here. And certainly his durability should help if he faces the danger that Luis Pauelo brings. Fernando Padilla's never been finished. He's got five losses all by decision, and to some really good fighters as well. He has been neutralized every which way. Danny Ige neutralized him with wrestling. This guy, Talamas or something, neutralized him with jujitsu. And we saw in his last fight, Kyle Nelson neutralized him with striking. And he was giving up, I'm sure, significant height and reach there. But timing was everything. And he was landing power shots with his hands and feet. And uh, he really flustered Fernando Padilla there. But uh, still, I'm picking Fernando Padilla to win. I don't think Luis Pauelo is as seasoned a fighter as Kyle Nelson. And I think uh, he's definitely not as well-rounded. He's uh, vulnerable on the ground. Although Fernando Padilla doesn't have the wrestling to really uh, dictate the fight that way. But still, uh, if these guys hit the ground, Pauelo is the one in danger. Uh, but Luis Pauelo has really impressed me. That's why I guess with a gun to my head, I picked uh, Padilla to win by decision, despite him being a very dangerous guy. You know, uh, he's got a lot of finishes, 13 finishes, I believe, in his 15 wins. Uh, but Fernando Padilla by decision would be the pick because Luis Pauelo has shown he's able to take it. I've seen this guy hurt a few times, and he hasn't gone out. I've seen him taken down, having his back taken for the majority of the first round, and he's weathered every storm and looked good in the end. And his one loss, I should say, is to this guy, Mike Davidson, who is Brazilian, believe it or not. Uh, it's a Johnny Walker situation there with the name. But Mike Davidson, I saw the highlights of that fight, and they were apparently very one-sided highlights in favor of Mike Davidson, which I would believe because the fight was a split decision. Whereas it looked like a one-sided shutout on the highlights. But I was able to see him use his Muay Thai and rough up uh, Luis Pauelo early. And Pauelo even got hit with a knee that kind of made his legs buckle. And uh, he was definitely uh, getting the worst of things early on. But in the end, apparently, he made things pretty damn close. Close enough for it to be a split decision. I hate how I haven't seen the loss. You know me by now. I just want to see the losses. But... I'll take the highlights and uh, I'll take something away from it, knowing that he uh, he looked good. It was closer than it appeared to be. And at the very least, he showed durability. So there's that fight. There's another fight where he won in round three after the guy was taking him down at the end of round one, beginning of round two, when he tamed the guy. His one decision victory was where the guy took his back. I, I like Luis Pauelo. And I also think he's probably punch for punch the more dangerous guy. But the overall danger goes to Padilla. And when you include the grappling and on the feet, the points battle, I think, would belong to Padilla. He's got the six and a half inches of reach. And uh, he's a guy who, when he's fresh anyway, knows how to use it. Uh, I have been concerned about Padilla, uh, you know, his cardio in the past. He won a tight split decision over this guy, Nate Richardson, a uh, really solid journeyman. And it was a close fight, but in the end, Padilla was kind of hanging on there, getting his legs chopped down throughout all of round three. 
And it wasn't the great greatest look, but a gritty effort for him to get one of his two decision victories there. And that one was at the LFA level. Uh, so Padilla is the pick. I think he's got more ways to win. And uh, despite me trusting a lot of traits from uh, Luis Pauelo, I think Fernando Padilla really shit the bed in his last one. And he's not going to return to the UFC as the same fighter. I expect him to be better this time around and uh, to win one way or another. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit, and check out my other videos.